everyone, it's Alex from Rep Physio. I'm the kinesiologist and personal trainer. So today I'm gonna show you some neck exercises and stretches. Really good if you've been home all week, just um, hunched over your computer or just even relaxing on the couch. Uh, we wanna work on that really good posture to have when we're working, when we're sitting, when we're standing, during everything. So today I'm gonna show you one round of stretches but I would recommend you do them at least two or three times. So at the end of the video, if you wanna just replay it, or if you already remember all the stretches, just do it over a couple times. So I have a timer on my watch here we're gonna be using for 30 seconds for all of the stretches. Um, so you can do a little bit longer if you like. If you're really feeling the stretch, you could just pause the video or go a little bit longer for 45 seconds or a minute uh, during the second and third rounds of this. So first we're gonna start with a stretch for your traps. Those are the muscles right here on the top of the neck and shoulder. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take that side that you wanna stretch, you're gonna put it behind you, just on the floor, or you could even sit on it, uh, whatever works better for you or feels better for the shoulder. So you're gonna sit up nice and tall, pretend like someone's pulling the tip of your head up to the ceiling and still keeping that arm behind you. We're going to use your ear over to the other shoulder. And now we're just gonna relax, feeling that stretch all the way down the trap here. And we're gonna start the timer. So we're gonna hold this one for 30 seconds. Now you should be feeling it kind of from the tip of the shoulder blade, even all the way up behind the ear or jaw. Um, don't worry if you feel it somewhere different, maybe going in between your shoulder blades. Just make sure it's not too much of a stretch, not causing any pain or anything like that. Common to feel a little bit of a headache referral here. So even just feeling it up into the side of the forehead or up behind the back of the head is fine. So that was 30 seconds, let's switch sides. Same thing, the other hand is gonna go behind you or sitting on it, either way. And then that ear is gonna go over to the other shoulder now. So you're just gonna hold, you're gonna sit up nice and tall, remember that string pulling you up to the ceiling. You can kind of play around with the angle of your head here. You can tilt your nose down a little bit more or really face away. Here I'm just trying to find all those little stretches. Good, so that was 30 seconds there. Now we're gonna do a similar stretch, but for a different muscle. So this one, you're going to, you can keep that hand behind you, but we're gonna change the angle of your head. So let's get my timer started here. Now that arm goes behind you. Now all you're gonna do is look down to your armpit. We call this one smelly armpit sometimes. <laughs> you can just push your nose down to that opposite armpit while that hand is behind you. Another option for this stretch is to take your hand and just rest it on top of your head. It gives you a little bit extra stretch there. So I'm gonna keep holding. Again, remember, really stretch up tall to the ceiling. And 30 seconds done. Now let's switch to the other side. So same thing, just like our first trap stretch here, except I'm just looking down to the floor. And here I'm just feeling it up the neck a little bit more. So it just goes up the neck a little bit, some in the shoulder as well. Again, you can include that second hand if you'd like. Just keep pressing up through your back. Really anchor down and 30 seconds there. Okay, so next exercise or stretch that I'm gonna show you um, is more of a strengthening exercise and it's called a chin tuck. So if you've been to physio, at rep physio before for any neck or shoulder something, then you probably got this exercise, it's awesome. What it does is, I'm gonna turn to show you. So. What it does is it takes you out of this position, the chin forward, chin poke, pulls you back into that really good postural position there. So that's exactly it. Um, easiest way to learn though is laying down. So let's find a comfy spot down on the ground here. And I keep talking you through this one. 
feet. You can see me good here. Okay, so I'm gonna be looking up to the ceiling. And now the easiest way to do a correct chin tuck is to pretend like you wanna look at your belly button, but you can't take your head off of the ground. So I'm not gonna lift up, I'm just gonna slide and try to look at my belly button. And I'm creating a little bit of that double chin here, which is fine, very attractive, don't worry. And all you're gonna do is hold here. So you can repeat and just relax, chin up and then tuck. Now when you have your chin down in this position here, you might feel a little bit of a stretch behind your neck, which is a good thing and that's fine. So I'm gonna sit up again and we're gonna try that sitting up now. So now all I'm gonna do is pretend I have that floor or a wall maybe behind me and all I'm gonna do is just slide down and tuck and back up. So maybe try holding for about three seconds or so. All you're gonna do, down, and relax. Now during this position, let's really try to get that good posture, lifting up through the chest, and opening up through the shoulder blades and chest. So all I want you to do is have palms up, shoulder blades back, kind of squeeze them together slightly. And then all you're gonna do is tuck, create that double chin, and back. Let's do five more. One. Good. Now this is really good to do when you're driving, when you're waiting in line. I mean, not that we're waiting in line right now, but you know what I mean? <laughs> um, when you're just sitting on the couch and especially when you're working at your computer at home. So if you can catch yourself, get rid of that chin poke. Let me see that double chin. Good. And one more. Holding. Good. Okay. From that exercise, we're going to do another strengthening exercise uh, that we call four point neck protocol. So basically what that is, is three exercises. They're kind of funny, but they work really well. They're using that chin tuck exercise um, with your head as a weight against gravity. So it's kind of a funny exercise, but bear with me here. So what we're gonna do is get on our hands and knees. So here, just comfy position on the ground. Hands are planted, fingers are wide. Um, if the knees are uncomfortable kneeling on your knees, just put a little pillow underneath or double up your yoga mat, something like that can be fine. So picture when I'm looking down to the ground that I also have that mat or the wall or something behind me here. Now all we're gonna do is that chin tuck we've already learned. So tucking in, slightly trying to look at my belly button here. I'm feeling a little bit of a stretch and back out. So we're gonna do 10, nice and slow. Two, good. Three, four, and we're holding just for a second. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, last one, 10, good. Now from there, we're gonna start a rotation. So you're going to hold the chin tuck and then all you're gonna do is just rotate the head while you're holding the chin tuck. So it's a little bit harder, feels a little funny Feels like you can't quite go as far as you normally would be able to. That's okay. Just gonna go from side to side. We can do this 10 times. Good, keep going. Awesome, and I feel a little bit of a stretch in the back of my neck, especially when I turn, I feel it on the opposite side. Good, two more. Good. Now the last one's a little bit different. 
um, a little bit harder. So you might want a little stress ball or even a rolled up towel can really help with this one. Uh, I'm gonna show you with, without anything first, but then I'll show you with uh, maybe a towel or whatever I can find in this room. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're going to tuck all the way down. So this one's easy, you just bring the chin to the chest. But now I want you to think about that flat neck and the back when you come up, holding a little bit of that double chin as you're raising back up. So what lots of people want to do is a scoop. So they'll go all the way down and I'll kind of scoop up. But see how that creates that crease in the back of my neck there? We want to keep that nice and flat. So I'm tucking in all the way. Here is where you could tuck in a little towel or a stress ball or something like that. And then you're just going to lift it up while still squeezing that towel. Good. Let's do a couple more here. Number three, four, five. Now, if your wrists are starting to get sore like mine, just press up onto your fists here. Good, two more. Okay, so now that your neck has gotten a little bit of a workout, let's do a little bit more stretching to follow. And I have one more exercise to finish. So the two other stretches that I have now are for the front of the neck. So now that we've done the back of the neck to start off the video, now we're gonna do the front. So these ones are a little bit different. Um, they require a little bit of your hands to do the work as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to start, I'm going to start on my left side, but you can start on whatever side you'd like. I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to press down on my collarbone or my clavicle. So it's the bone right there that comes across your chest. You're just going to take your fingers like a little hook and you're going to hook the collarbone and pull down. So it doesn't really feel like anything right now, but it will once we do the start or the stretch. So you're just pinning that collarbone down here. It doesn't really matter how. And now all you're gonna do is you're gonna look up and away from the side that you pinned. So I'm just kind of slightly going back into the right and up. Now I'm feeling it all the way down the front of the neck here. And now we're gonna hold using my little timer. So let's start that, just keep breathing again, pull up from your chest lift up like the string is pulling your head up to the ceiling have that nice posture you can sit in whatever position that you like by the way so i'm cross-legged on the ground but this could all be um in a chair or on the couch or even standing doesn't matter so we're just keeping holding here i can feel that stretch all the way in front even down through the collarbone here good and let's switch sides Again, just pinning the collarbone down, and now I'm going up and to the left. I'm pinning down my right collarbone. And you can use both hands, you can use one, doesn't really matter. And we're just feeling that. Now this one's a little bit more tight on me, so I feel it a little bit down into even my pec and really up the neck. So don't be surprised if you feel different from side to side. Good, and we're done. Okay, so the next stretch, it's more of a self-release. So this one's a little tricky. Don't be uh, discouraged if you can't really get it the first time. Just keep practicing, keep um, re-watching the video and it should help. So I'm gonna come a little closer so you can see. Okay, so the SEMs, they're a really long name, sternocleidomastoid. That's why we call it SEM. So those three names though are what they attach to. So that muscle comes all the way down the front of the neck as well. So when you turn, you can see mine pops out pretty good here. So that's the one that I wanna pinch with my two fingers. So when I'm turned, I can um, kind of feel it, but then it's way easier to pinch if you go back. So now I kind of have where it should be, right? 
And then when I relax, it's way easier to actually pinch that muscle. So now, I don't know if you can see, I actually have the muscle pinched in between my two fingers here. So it doesn't really feel that good, to be honest. So all you're gonna do is, as tolerated, you're gonna pinch your fingers together. It feels a little bit uncomfortable, kind of like a massage, but you're just going to kind of move all the way up and down that muscle with your fingers. I'm pinching and kind of pulling away from my neck. So again, turn so you can see it. See, this guy pops out really good. And then turn back so you're relaxed, way easier to grab. Now you can just completely relax. Again, sit up tall, remember that good posture. And all I'm gonna do is pinch and pull. Now right there's a pretty good spot. I can feel it all the way up my head, even referring up into a little bit behind my eye. And I'm gonna go all the way up to the very top and all the way down to the very bottom too. So let me refine that here. Ooh. And this one I would do for about a minute or so on each side. So let's switch sides now that you've got that side. Again, same thing, I'm gonna turn my head to the opposite side. Now, um, this lighting isn't quite as good on this side, but mine pops out pretty good right here. Now, you're gonna grab it and turn back. And we're just gonna spend the last minute here going through and just kind of angling your head if you need. Feeling those referral points, wherever you feel is the worst spot. You could even stay there the whole time. You don't need to go up and down. If you find the spot, you just stick on it. Okay, 10 more seconds here on this side. And we're gonna do one last important um, exercise, uh, strengthening exercise, and then we're done. So now I've taken care of the back of the neck, the front of the neck, stretching out all those muscles and we've strengthened the deep neck flexors the one that really help you keep in that good posture now the last thing we have to do is strengthen the back so this is where we started where i was talking about that bad posture slunched over and head forward all that so now we've got the corrections for the neck now we've got need the corrections for the back so I'm gonna explain it first, and then I'm gonna turn around so you can see. So what I'm gonna do is, a, we call it a scapular retraction. That's your shoulder blades, is your scapulas. So we're gonna be squeezing them together. So arms are gonna go out, kind of like an A position, a little bit away from your body. Mine are just touching the ground right now that you can't really see. Uh, and all I'm gonna do is I'm going to lift the shoulders up and squeeze together. So it does look a little bit, let me kind of rearrange this. So it's not um, just a lift and it's not just a pullback either. I need to kind of do a teensy bit of both. So I'm gonna turn around now so you can see. I want you to watch the shoulders coming up and back, squeezing together like you're pinching a pencil right in between your shoulder blades. So we're gonna do that 10 times, okay? Okay, so arms are out here, sitting up nice and tall. And now we're just gonna squeeze and pinch. I'm just pinching together right in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, two more, nine, ten. Awesome. Yay. Okay, now you've officially done one round of your neck exercises and stretches. So now I challenge you to do two more. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, we're going to be posting these little videos of mine every once in a while on our page. So make sure to keep watching, and I'll be back with the back exercises next.